It's not new that our skincare products can be hazardous to our health. If you've ever checked out Vicki's Corner on DrSaputo.com, you know that we shouldn't put anything on our skin that we shouldn't or wouldn't eat because 60% of all the things that we put on our skin is absorbed into our bloodstream and in, into our lymphatic system, ending up in our internal organs and in our fat. Yeah, this is a big deal. When we're talking about uh, autopsies that were done, probably over 450 of them, what we found is that about 50% of the livers and spleens were polluted with a lot of these products that were there. And an awful lot of it goes in our fat and it's stored there where it stays for long periods of time because it bioaccumulates. Well, think about it. Would you take car oil, which is petroleum, and put that on your on your skin? Well, look, at, we, do, we do it with mineral oil, which isn't far that's, from it. That's what, it, yeah, that's what it is. What is it, refined car oil? <laughs> well, it's, it's refined petroleum, that's right. Well, it's carcinogenic. What people need to get in the habit of doing is reading the ingredients that are on anything that we put on our skin or in our mouths, you know? Right. We don't want those things being absorbed in our lotions and our makeup and our moisturizers and the list goes on with, with all the things that have toxic ingredients in them, not just petroleum, but things like phthalates and uh, parabens and so forth. So we really need to be careful well, about that. Sure. I mean, you can look at, at, a, at a common product that a lot of women who are around the time of menopause are using, which is progesterone. And in that particular situation, progesterone is absorbed 10 times better across the skin than if you eat it. And the other thing that's a disadvantage for things that you put on your skin is they go straight through, as Vicki said, into the blood or into the lymphatic system and circulate in the body. When you eat them, it's a different story. There, it's absorbed into the blood and lymphatics that go straight to the liver where they're detoxified first. So when you put things on your skin, they're they don't far go to the more, liver first. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's more, far more dangerous than if you ate them. Well, you know, too, these uh, parabens, they have found them a million times higher in the breast tissue than estrogens. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Sure, and they produce a lot of estrogens too. All these uh, toxic things like plastics and pesticides and petroleum products are absorbed into the body as xenoestrogens, they're called. And that's just another word for saying that these, are, these products that we expose ourselves to are converted into, into powerful estrogens in the body where they do things to us that we don't want, like cause cancer and, and problems with sudden heart deaths and many other situations. Isn't it amazing when you think about it, what mass marketing can do to make you believe that these products are making you beautiful and that they're healthy, when in fact what they're doing is they're killing us and they're making us sick. Right, and where's the regulation for it all? There's not a whole lot of regulation yeah, the from FDA the FDA. The FDA doesn't have any. And so you're at the mercy of the conscience of people who are making these products and unfortunately in our culture today we're more interested in the bottom line which is return on investment rather than worrying so much about how good is this for somebody to be using you know even when you go to a dermatologist many times oh. they give you products that have ingredients in them that are not healthy you know maybe one of the ingredients that that's in it might be something that the doctor might suggest but the other ingredients it's like they're in a sea of toxins with all these petroleum products and parabens and phthalates and so on and so forth i've been watching this happen for 50 or 45 years look at lubriderm oh sure uh, all these things that are made to, out of mineral oil or other kinds of substances that are not healthy for the body the dermatologists aren't trained to look at toxicology they're not really interested so much in that because they don't know much about it. They just make the assumption that the company must have some kind of ethics, but in fact, they don't. And so they're prescribing these things. If you want good, solid products, like Vicki said, go to Vicki's Corner and look at her safe cosmetic and skincare product list, and it's free. You can depend on that. And by the way, there are websites and there are phone numbers to reach those companies. So if you want to keep your body clean of things like that, that's the way to do it. You can find petroleum products even in sometimes in vitamins and, and uh, time-released uh, medications. Right. And People. they're in breast implants and they're just, you know, when they're coating our vegetables and they're in our fertilizers and pesticides and herbicides. and. So what's a good substitute, Vicki? You're the expert in this. Coconut. <laughs> coconut, Co yeah. Co coconut. Yes, it is. Coconut oil penetrates better than uh, mineral oil does anyway. You know, a lot of times when people put 
products on that contain mineral oil, like just for an example, let's say chapstick. Have you ever noticed how they keep putting it on and putting it on? Right. That's because when you first put it on, it feels oily and like it's moisturizing you. But in the long run, it really dries out your skin. Yeah, it plugs so up your pores. And, yeah. And, uh, right. And so coconut oil is a, is a saturated fat that's got a bad rap. It's actually very healthy for people who have cancer, who have heart disease. Alzheimer's. Who, also, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a... It's a medium chain triglyceride that does some very interesting things metabolically that are to our advantage. If you want to learn more about that, put uh, coconut oil in the search box in drsaputa.com and up will come a lot of information about coconut oil for these particular situations. And coconut oil is also an antifungal, and if it's mixed with anise, it can kill lice better than, and of course it's not toxic, like the permethrin is, it is used in most of the insecticides for killing lice. Exactly. So wake up. These are, these are toxic, uh, toxic substances that you need to know about. You certainly don't want to be putting them on your baby's skin. And when I look at some of the products that are put out there by Johnson & Johnson, it's just stunning to me that they have the audacity to be uh, trying to do things like that. And we have a lot of information about Johnson & Johnson on our website as well by the way. So be careful of what you put on your skin. Know what you're using. Learn about what's important. And again, the resource is Vicki's Corner. So Vicki's Corner is a place you should visit if you're interested in this.